This year's ferocious hurricane season has already delivered 15 tropical cyclones over the Atlantic with three out of eight hurricanes, Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria, resulting in death and devastation in a 30-day span. How does the Internet feel about one more hurricane and the potential for a new activity record? The National Hurricane Center reports that September was the most active month on record for a measurement called Accumulated Cyclone Energy ACE, which measures the combined strength and duration of tropical storms and hurricanes. The previous record occurred in September 2004. The National Hurricane Center also said this is the third most active hurricane season on record to date in the North Atlantic Basin, behind 1933 and 2004. And there are still two full months in this season, which ends with November. Per the National Hurricane Center, this September was about 3.5 times more active than an average September from 1981 to 2010. That sums up reaction to news of Tropical Depression 16 forming in the Southern Caribbean on Wednesday, as reported by the National Hurricane Center. Should it continue to gain strength, the north moving storm would become Hurricane Nate entering the Gulf of Mexico by Friday. It is expected to make landfall by Sunday in the U.S. with states like Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida on its path. On Wednesday, the Federal Emergency Management Agency was still in the midst of helping recovery efforts in Texas where Harvey made landfall on August 30, in Florida where Irma made landfall on September 10, and in Puerto Rico, where Maria ripped the island apart on September 20. The possibility of more destruction at the hands of another hurricane was a worrying one. A frustrating one, too. Let these gifts describe how exactly the U.S. was feeling about this. Hurricane season typically starts June 1 and ends November 30, and on average, the Atlantic Basin see two hurricanes by September each year. Since 1950, only 15 storms or hurricanes have hit the Gulf Coast or Florida. U.S. officials are taking heed of the advisory from the National Hurricane Center, which said Hurricane Nate could reach 85 miles per hour sustained winds in three days. Emergency officials in Florida told the Tallahassee Democrat they are keeping an eye on the storm. Let's remember, we are still in the heart of hurricane season. And while it's hard to imagine experiencing another storm right now, everyone has to be prepared, Florida Governor Rick Scott said in a statement, according to the paper. Are you ready for another hurricane this season? Have some thoughts to share? Join me in a conversation Shoot me a private email with your thoughts or ideas on a different approach to this story. As always, you can also send us a tweet. Email luis.gomez at stunyontribune.com Twitter at ringgomez Read the conversation on Flipboard.